With the global settlement of civil and criminal investigations into Purdue Pharma's aggressive marketing of opioid medications, including OxyContin, former addicts and law enforcement here in Tucson are chiming in. News 4 Tucson's Paul Cicala has more. Federal officers have long maintained that Purdue Pharma's actions have led to an opioid epidemic that's led to hundreds of thousands of deaths by Americans as a result of the drugs. And we had one Tucsonan who opened up to us about his addiction. My wife recognized that I was developing tendencies that, uh, that were very addictive early on. Tucson and Don Red dealt with an addiction to OxyContin for over a decade after open heart surgery. He knows the dangers of opioids and is glad Purdue Pharma is being held accountable following a multi billion dollar lawsuit. 8.3 billion, yeah, as we say it out loud, it seems like such a large number, but the reality is that family is not going to jail. They're keeping their profits. Overdoses are an enormous problem in Pima County and throughout the country. Tucson Police Captain John Levitt heads up the force's Counter Narcotics Alliance. It really acknowledges that there had been an effort over a period of time to get people involved with uh, drug use, uh, first through their, their doctors and then finally through street drugs because of the problems that it created. TPD Captain Levitt says the money made from the settlement will definitely help in treatment. Maybe we're doing something at the beginning of the funnel right now of problems, but the pig is in the snake and we need to make sure we get money towards that treatment to get these people through this process and out the other end successfully. Despite three felony pleas, the executives and owners of Purdue Pharma will not have to spend any time behind bars. We've got you covered from Tucson's west side. Paul C. Kala, News 4, Tucson.